Hello, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoes Software, and I want to show you some of the improved MDM support we have for MDS 2.0, which is currently in pre-beta. Um, I've added in uh, DEP support, which I'll show you in a moment, as well as some uh, feedback and inventory where you can get uh, send commands via the MDM server and get the feedback. So I'll show you how that works as well. So we'll open up the MDM service inside of uh, MDS, and I'll start it up. Um, it's powered by micro MDM, so that starts out the micro MDM server, which is now running. It goes out and it queries our DEP server, so I've already put the DEP token in. It allows me to talk to that. And you can see I have three devices here registered um, in the DEP service. They were purchased um, from, uh, we registered for the DEP program through business.apple.com, and uh, we've purchased three Macs. It's a, a, a new Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, and a MacBook Air. So those are in DEP. They've never been, uh, uh, it's, well, I wiped it clean, and so they've never been been used. So these are fresh machines that are put up there. So we, in order to um, enroll these machines, I could have, I could just install the profile manually. So if I open up the enrollment page, I could send those machines to this web page. They could just click on enroll profile, or I could just take this and copy it to the machine and double click on it, and it would enroll in this MDM. But that, um, that doesn't give us some of the advantages of using DEP, so I want to show you how to use that mechanism. So if I click on the DEP uh, in the uh, toolbar, you can see I have the options. Um, we have the profile name, which is identifier. The support phone number and email address will show to the, uh, the user when they're going into allowing for remote management. The URL for our, um, the URL for our MVM server, you can see it's a .local one. It's, fully secured by SSL, using self-signed certificates, and use a Bonjour name, um, which works perfectly fine. We need to include the MDM service certificate, so that's included in this profile that's uploaded, or these settings that are uploaded to the DEP uh, service. So when the machine grabs that information, it'll install the certificate, and it'll be trusted for the MDM server, which is awesome. So um, these are the items that we're gonna be skipping. You can see I can select all or select none. And so let's uh, s select all to skip, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep location. So you can see that it skipped them all, but also has location. And I'll click on update. And one of the nice things we do when you click on update, it'll take all the serial numbers that you currently have, and it will um, upload those with the configuration, uh, those serial numbers and the configuration up to the DEP service, so that any time a, uh, one of these Macs goes to be set up, it'll use that new profile. So it's a very simple uh, simple uh, thing to do. Um, I've also created a VM here that is the MacBook Air, one of those uh, devices. So I'll just start it up. Um, is, this is a fresh install, so it um, should recognize DEP and uh, start to configure itself. All right, so now we've uh, started configuration. Um, remote manager requires you to go through this first couple of screens, so I'll, I'll select the United States and the keyboard is US. And then now we have remote management, and so if I click on learn about more remote management, it sees it has that details that we entered in. And then I'll click on continue, and it'll contact our MDM server, and you can see that it skipped all of the uh, configuration. It does force us to compute our computer count since we haven't done that yet. And once it's finished creating the creator, uh, the computer account, it does have that one pane for location services. So we'll enable that and now we are completed. All right, the Mac's now set up. And it's enrolled in MDM, so let me go back to uh, MDS and I'll refresh. And you can see that it indeed um, was uh, assigned a UDID and I have the serial number. So now this machine is enrolled. Um, we can actually do some commands to it now. So if I run the command on that one to uh, get device information, I'll send that request. It um, then requests a push to be sent to this device, which then checks into MDM server. And now a new feature is if we double click on that um, uh, device, you can see now it's gotten all this information. There's no Bluetooth Mac because it's running a VM, but it does populate all the other information. You can see profiles, security, and certificates are blank. But if we send those commands to uh, list install profiles, 
and list install certificates and get security information. Um, and again, we'll do that same operation where we'll go out and get the information. You can see now we have our just a single profile. Um, it has the security information um, uh, populated and we can see these certificates have been installed. Um, we also can install a uh, profile. And now if I go over to the VM and I look at that machine, we should see that that in profile has been installed. Yep, there's the Nomad profile. And now if I go in and I update the uh, list install profiles, you can see that under profiles, I now have the Nomad uh, sample uh, configuration profile installed. Um, we can also have commands like if we wanted to uh, shut down or uh, restart the device. So I'll just uh, shut down uh, that uh, machine and you can see that the Mac turns off. So that's uh, fully enrolled with DEP as well as being able to send MDM commands and get some uh, feedback on what's installed on there. Um, the uh, We're working towards having the ability to get MDM certificates available from two canoes. Um, so you can have a full solution to be able to deploy your Macs uh, with DEP and uh, MDM through MDS. So thanks very much for watching and uh, please subscribe to this channel so you get updated to all the other videos that um, I post. Thanks very much for watching.